Someone asked me to make a little video on how I made this um, this little detail knife. So uh, basically, what um, I did is I used a, a jigsaw blade, you know, um, these sort of uh, electric jigsaw blades. I um, filed it down with a um, one of these things, you know, on a Dremel, uh, to get the sort of shape that I wanted. Um, and then obviously sharpened it up on a stone. But uh, if you're into whittling, you'll know that oh, one of the things that uh, you end up wanting is small knives as opposed to big knives. And I think that um, because we're used to buying uh, expensive knives, you know, if you buy a cheap knife, it, it tends to it tends to uh, be rubbish. It, it doesn't hold its edge and things like that. Um, and, uh, and most people sort of get uh, the idea that you've got to pay a lot of money for a, a good quality knife. So when it comes to little knives like this, you end up sort of paying sort of 15, 25 quid uh, and more. Um, but it's not needed. You know, you can make, and if you drop something like that, you know, expensive one, and you break the tip um, or break the blade, then, you know, it's £25 down the drain. But you can make this reasonably easy. I'll, um, you know, like I say, just using... Um, uh, an old jigsaw blade. Uh, there's a few things to watch out for. You know, if the, the blade has discoloured, I don't know if you can see very well there, but if the blade is discoloured, um, that's where it's got heated and it's it's lost its um, hardness and that sort of thing. You can retreat it by sticking it in um, a flame and getting it up to cherry red and then um, that sort of thing. But, you know, the way I, I worked is you use um, like a, a, a hacksaw type blade and um, you know it's if it's a hacksaw it's they're fairly tough you know you can't break them sort of just by your fingers and just grind it down just give yourself the shape you want as long as you keep it sort of fairly cool you're not going to lose its hardness I mean if you use a hacksaw blade there's an old bit of hacksaw blade it's just too brittle I mean you, they, they snap too easily but these sort of things that they're, they're fairly tough you can't you know you can't break that readily they're 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 already hardened and ready for you so you've not got the bother of of making heat resistant um you know heat treating and all that sort of thing as long as you you keep it cool whilst you're sharpening it um but yeah so what did i do for me the thing that makes a nice a knife is is the handle firstly you you want something that's big enough in the hand you get a tiny little thing and it's it's sort of it's falling out of your hand you want something that's big enough um i like to use this as in an in a pen sort of style so you can sort of get into little edges you can rest against one hand and and, and carve that way so i've sort of cut grooves where my fingers rest which gives me a nice sort of sense of, now I could have made it like a pencil just long and thin but then you can't hold it in a different fashion so you can't hold it like that um, in the hand and you can't hold it like that um, so you get by this sort of shape um, and I've got little cuts out in the back and this is made of olive so it looks really nice don't know if the um, sun shining on it a bit there so but yeah you get an idea and um you know you can uh, i've sharpened this up i say i took it down with this to, from from this sort of thing uh making sure that it didn't discolor as i was going along just keep dropping it in water uh every couple of seconds um if it does discolor whilst you're doing it you can heat it up to cherry red and then drop it into um, like an oil um, to cool it. But I mean, then you're getting complicated and you're getting into heat treating. Um, and, and, you know, really, most of us just want to be able to have a really nice detail knife that doesn't cost a lot to make. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit of olive. Um, and that's how I made it. So, ground it down with that. I took that, ground it down with that. Then sharpened it on um, um, 
I used oil stones, but some people use, obviously use water stones. Uh, polishing wheel, that sort of thing. Uh, you can get it uh, more and more sharp. And I say I can shave with that. Um, does the paper cut. It's beautiful for little tiny details. We just want to cut away um, tiny little bits where you're always using the point. And like I say, if you're if you're into uh, whittling, it's the small knives that you want as opposed to the big knives. Um, you can buy a big knife. Um, plenty of uh, big knives around. Uh, but it's the small knives and that's what, about an inch. But yeah, that's how I made it. Um, uh, something else I should mention, just before I finish. Rather than epoxy, what I did is drill this in. So I drilled a couple of little holes using the Dremel. Um, then just um, moved them about to give me enough space for this. Rather than epoxy it in, which is my normal method, um, because there's a possibility of this, this breaking um, being so small, it's 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 not likely to it's 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 you know it's pretty tough but should it do you know if i drop it or something um rather than epoxy it in i've used like um gorilla glue so that means i can just pull it out and uh, or work with it as opposed to epoxy where you it would be set forever um so yeah that's uh how i made a detail knife uh, using home tools from an old um, jigsaw blade. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Cheers, bye.